welcome to my October favorites. I know I look so summery, but it's so hot out here. My mom's over because we're about to go see a show, but it's so hot out here. And when I went to go move her car, I like wanted to melt. I was like, this is so hot. So I switched my dress. I had like a long sleeve, sort of like red dress for Annie. Totally switched it um, because it is really hot and I'm like very like hot right now. So <sighs> yeah, I have air, but like I feel weird turning air on when it's like actually November. It's like actually crazy. Um, but I thought I'd do my October favorites for you guys. Um, like I just feel like I don't have that much, and then it ends up being like a 30 minute video because I talk so much. But I have like a, I have more beauty products lately since I moved in because like I've been having to like kind of buy new makeup because like I can't really find my makeup. It's like everywhere. So and like everything else, usually I have like a ton of like extra favorites. I don't really have it this month. Um, but we'll just get like right into it because I feel like okay, let's just do this and like stop talking. Um, first video, or first video, first favorite is my viral video. I did a short film this month, and it is the sequel to viral video last year. It's kind of been like this Halloween tradition to do like short films on my channel, and I love viral video. It's like something that's really near and dear to my heart because it's like my concept and my story, and the fact that we got to do two of them, and I've had Richard Grieco in it, and I talked about him so many times. But like Richard Grieco was everything to me. Like growing up, like my, we used to watch Lifetime movies all the time, like Sunday, Saturday, Sunday. Like we stayed in my mom's bed, and like me and my sister and my mom like all watch Lifetime movies, and Richard was in so many of them in the 90s and he was in one like he was always like the bad abusive boyfriend and it's like very cool it's almost like I tell him this too I told him this on Saturday like, this is like childhood dreams like my fantasy being lived out so it's been a lot of fun plus I got to work with Andrew Valentine um Doug my DP like they're just a really amazing they did all my music videos so it's cool to like do short films with them because Andrew ultimately wants to do film direction so it was like really cool to do that with him plus Mr. Repsion oh my god <laughs> internet troll hater that like hated me for so long came together and he was so nice and such a great actor so thank you Daniel for being a part of it and she in it. So this is our first like acting thing. Even though we were kind of playing ourselves, like it was our first like kind of acting thing together, which was really fun. So if you guys haven't checked, by the way, Pizza Guy, does anyone, did anyone recognize Pizza Guy? I don't think anyone did in the comments. He is my abusive ex-boyfriend from the Lost and Found videos, so it was kind of like sweet revenge. I won't say give any spoilers, but you can kind of guess from there uh, that he had to be the pizza boy, and I just thought it was like really cool. And like, I don't know, he, I love that guy. He's so great too, and he's Corey. So check out my other video if you haven't already, and I just, I liked it, and let me know if you guys saw the end coming. The twist, it was totally a Trish twist for sure. When I was talking to Drew when he was writing the script, because Drew, my two old, wrote the script and was talking to him about it, I, I don't know if he brought up or I did, but I kind of like the idea of like, anyways, watch the ending and you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about, but let's get into the favorites. Okay, so I think I ha maybe had a foundation in the last one, I don't know, but this is actually, actually amazing, it looks like so dirty and gross, but this is like actually amazing, it's CoverGirl's Ready, Set, Gorgeous, I think this has been out a while because I've heard about it before, but I just like saw it at the drugstore because it's like, I was going to say a lot of the drugstore makeup, this is the only drugstore product I have, but. Um, fresh complexion oil free foundation which is very important for oily skins like us but I wanted it because I'm like very light right now and I don't most of my like high end foundations are for my tan because if you guys haven't noticed I haven't been tanning lately and some of you are like I really like it and some of you are like you look pale as fuck and I was like I know but I've been liking the pale like I'm very like I feel like I'm very like Maryland today this is a very Maryland dress so I don't know I've been liking like the vintage pin up porcelain skin sort of look um so I just want to try out with some cheap foundation because I was like oh I'm going to be tan again but but I probably won't, so I'm, I'm obsessed with this. This is like buildable for like a um, a drugstore. Creamy Neutral 110 is my color. Um, it's like, it's nice, I like it, but it's very buildable for like a drugstore foundation. It's very, um, it could go on very sheer, which I do a lot of times if I'm just like trying to like make my skin kind of like one color, but it could be also very full coverage. Like I've had some like crazy breakouts this month. I don't know why, like crazy breakouts. And I kind of was using it as like concealer because I don't really have a concealer at the moment. I need to get a concealer. Probably, I'll have, I don't know. If you have any recommendations for concealers, let me know because I have to get concealers. Um, but, oh, this is like so gross. There's like stuff on it. But this is like, kind of good. I kind of use this as like spot treatment concealing and it kind of is like really nice like if you just like pack it on so I was like kind of surprised and it keeps you oil free like it's an oil free foundation and like if you're an oily skin it's really great. It'll keep you matte for I would say all honesty before having to blot up four hours if you're like out and about getting in and out of your car like moving around four hours which to me is great like I usually have to touch up an hour after I'm like moving around so I thought that was like really great and it's cover girl and I think that's awesome so we can get that at a drugstore and it's great um okay the next thing is this Kat Von D palette which might be might be old it's called Poetica True Romance Eyeshadow Palette um I think I got this a long time ago to be honest I don't know I just like randomly found it the packaging is like not great it's kind of like plastic it's kind of like cheap it like feels light and cheap um but the colors are stunning like actually the prettiest colors ever I'm like blinding you 
like so gorgeous you could use all of them there's like very neutral colors over here and then there's very like purpley smokies and they're just really pretty and the purple and the orange together like this color and this like you could put the purple on top and then the black in the crease and then like the orange on the bottom it's very pretty it's kind of in my go-to combination and then this highlight color over here is like stunning like it's actually so stunning and then this is great for like a matte like neutralizer underneath all the eyeshadows it's kind of like this amazing palette that I kind of like I'm obsessed with so I don't know I'm sure I, I think these like don't I don't think this is like special edition maybe I don't know you can always find it on eBay if like, they don't sell it anymore at Sephora but True Romance eyeshadow palette by Kat Von D it actually has like the prettiest colors and the pigments are gorgeous I don't know I feel like I've had Kat Von D palettes but maybe just like not really use them but they're very pigmented and very gorgeous and I just I love it like I don't know because like I can't find it in like any of my MAC shadow palettes like, I can't find a lot of my shadows so I was kind of like just like, here's a palette let me use it and it ended up being Stunning, like so gorgeous. So love that. Okay. This next line I found through a YouTuber named The Beauty Crush. She's a British, I mean, I think it's like a small YouTuber, she's like actually a big deal. Um, Beauty Crush talks about Charlotte Tilbury all the time. I've like never heard of this like brand before she talked about it. But this might have been in her favorites a few months back. And I don't know, I just like always like I, I always like shop online and like I never buy until the next morning because I should just buy that night and then I'd be like, what did I buy? Um so I always like then I always put it like in a list of like things to get. Like when I'm like in a mood to shop, I'm like this is things that you want and Trisha like go back. And this was just happened to be a link that I saved and I like went back. Um it is the Charlotte Tilbury Norman by Norman Parkinson collection, Color of Youth. It's a healthy, happy lip and cheek glow. Um I use this for my cheek and it is a very glowy look. It's very like doll-like, it's very like youthful looking. And it gives a sort of, um, kind of like a dewy, which I really hate, again, because I'm oily, so I'm like, do we know? But it's very, it's very brightening and lightening and just, I don't know, I really, really enjoy it. Um, this is what it looks like. It's creamy, and you apply it with your finger, which is kind of unsettling at first, because when I did it, and I, you know, you do your blush, like, after you do your foundation and concealer, well, that's what I do anyways. And I was, like, putting on, it kind of felt, like, gross to, like, mix it with your other makeup. But I guess your brush does that anyways. I don't know. It just felt weird. But the warmth of your finger, I think, kind of sets it in that it doesn't look crazy. Um, it's just really, really pretty. I just really love it. And I've been using it all month. And you can see, I mean, I, like, dug, like, a little bit of my nail. But, like, you just kind of go like that. Just, like, dab it on. You smile, like, dab it on your cheek. It's, like, really pretty. And I feel like for people who, like, light makeup or, like, don't really know how to blend. Like, for me, sometimes I have, like, tons of blush. Like, too much blush on my cheek. I feel like this is a nice light little thing and it's kind of cool and you can have it as a lip color and it just it makes you really youthful and glowy which I love um and then this final thing is so random I think you've hauled this and like I honestly <laughs> I got it because like this girl who did my makeup for superficial bitch like forever ago like used this line but like I was like am I ever I don't know I ended up buying it after that I was like am I ever gonna use this but love it this is the it's called JD Glow Cosmetics it's called Saks and Fifth number 009 I've never heard of it and the packaging is not all that it's like super cheap like this is like a sticker on here it's like not anything at all but oh my gosh this highlight you will be highlighted for days I take like a like a flat headed brush like a small one and I just like dab it like kind of like on this part and not like the whole way but like on this part it looks like Tinkerbell like a fairy like a princess it is so gorgeous and it's kind of hard to see but there's like shimmer there's like gold silver shimmer it's I like didn't want to like swatch but like look at that that's like gorgeous and if you like dab it it can be thicker and if you like spread it it can be like thinner I mean it's hard to tell because like I'm so like pale but it's gorgeous and like it's gorgeous as like an inner tear duct it's gorgeous as like a eyebrow light highlight it is so pretty I'm like obsessed I put it like a little bit over my like lip gloss the other day it's like such a pretty all-around powder and I kind of want to just do my whole face in this because it's like that gorgeous uh, but a little goes a very long way. I just started using it this month, and I have been loving it. I've been, like, a highlighting goddess. Even when I don't wear makeup, I'll, like, go in there and, like, dab some on. Because it just makes me feel illuminated. Kind of, like, I kind of did something to myself. But that is it for my makeup. Um, my makeup. So now let's get into my little um, accessories. So first thing I have to, this is another thing that I just like randomly found. This was actually sent to me forever ago. <laughs> I love this site called Shop Stay Wild. And sometimes I like buy stuff from there. Like a lot of times I like place an order. I placed an order one time for like $400. Like just like randomly. Like it got like all this like, it's like, oh, it's a site full of random things. Like necklaces, bongs, phone cases. It's just like random. And I found them on Instagram. And I've done like videos about them before. And the lady like sent me a bunch of stuff. And I felt so bad because like I had just moved. And so all my stuff was like in storage. And she goes, hey, like did you ever get like care package you sent you I was like oh yeah I feel so bad like I felt so bad that I 
couldn't, I remember getting it, but I remember I packed it right away, and, like, I never, like, gave a shot. I felt so bad, because she was so nice, and, like, offered to send me things, because it's, like, kind of, like, a one-person shop sort of thing. She kind of, like, I think, I think she kind of, like, maybe I could be totally wrong, could be, like, 30 people working for her, but I feel like she's a very, like, startup, she's trying to start something sort of thing. She's awesome, I love her. Um, the, like, owner's name, Nikki, I think, um. She sent me this case, Forever Con. I just found it, and I'm actually, like, so obsessed with it, and I, like, posted it on Instagram. She's, like, so sweet. You know, sometimes companies, like, if you don't, like, talk about them, like, I never ask for anything for free or, like, for trade for this very reason, because if I don't like it or I forget about it, like, some companies go crazy. They're like, I sent you that. Like, I had a cookie incident, like, three years ago where someone sent me, like, cookies, and I thought they just wanted to send me cookies. Like, they, I didn't know I had to do, like, a video, and I didn't do a video fast enough, and they went crazy on me. I was, like, crazy. So, I, like, don't really accept sort of things like that usually and even if I really like something I'll just end up buying it because I'm like I just don't want to like have to feel obligated or pressured so she never like pressured me or anything to talk about it but I love it I talked about it on Instagram but it's like one of those like um like you know kind of like ugh, I don't know glitter like water cases sort of thing but what I love about it and you probably can't see but the heart when the dust settles says don't fucking touch me and it's like don't just don't and it's like kind of a good thing when I was when I was someone the other day and I wasn't like feeling it at all and I could tell like you see how cute that is I could tell like he was and I was just kind of like casually putting this like on my lap like like yeah I'm really getting tired <laughs> and I think honestly I think he saw it I think it like kind of was like okay well have a good night <laughs> um sort of thing so yeah I love this case so much it's so pretty and I don't know it's like really I like that it's like see-through so you can see like the gold because like you know when you get the gold iPhone you kind of like want to like you know, show it off. Um, <laughs> okay, these kicks are everything that I'm about to show you guys. I don't even think you're prepared. I don't know. Some I, actually, I would say like some of you probably won't like them, but I feel like everyone will like these because I got so many compliments on these online in real life. These are my Nike Sky High Dunks. Um, I'm obsessed. These are like wedge sneakers, and I've had some wedge sneakers in the past from like Jeffrey Campbell. Um, but these are literally life. Um, actually, <laughs> I shouldn't probably say this, but. I totally bought these myself. There's a company that like blings out cups and stuff like that. And I totally bought everything myself. And like I mentioned something else that I bought from them in a video once. And they're like, you didn't say the right name. Like you didn't even link us. And I was like, I'm like, I didn't really, I don't really, it's like so hard. I don't even, I don't even want to tell you guys this, but I just feel like sometimes like I'm not, you know, no one's obligated to say like where things are from. I mean, granted, that's what I do, but I honestly couldn't remember. Now, not to say like, don't go do business with them, but I just, they were this the kind of came at me and like you didn't mention our name please link us and I was just like dude I like paid full price for all these things like what like anyways I just want to show you guys and I, I get it because like okay they want the promotion but it's like I mean I'm not obligated but having said all that I really do like their stuff and I really want you guys to get it if you guys like them they did my bling cups of like the Starbucks and like the Dunkin Donuts cups um they're called e Shays. Again, I don't know 100% because they, like, freaked out on me. I still don't really know. I think it's eshays.com or if you just, like, Google or Instagram eshays, E-S-H-A-Y-S, um, eshays, um, and I, I got it forever ago, so I honestly didn't remember. I think it said Etsy or something, oh, um, but it's eshays. I just don't know the exact website, but, I mean, that's the promo right there, even though I paid full price for these, um, and they're not cheap, but they're so cute, <laughs> why that whole spiel like went down I think I said just like I don't know I always feel like I need to be like transparent pretty honest with you guys even when I do do sponsored videos which this one's not sponsored at all like no one paid me to talk about anything um I still feel like I need to be transparent like usually Astro shows are sponsored I'll be like this is sponsored by blah 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 um I just feel like it's better to be like transparent and I feel like people are more understanding because it's like they know it's like you know okay if I do big music videos I need a sponsor for those videos because otherwise I would literally be living in a box um but Having said that, this is not sponsored, and I love these so much. These are literally everything. They're so beautiful. I love the white. I've been looking for, like, an all-pair of white. My makeup girl has an all-pair of white, and then with the, like, little bling, it was actually kind of perfect. And they did another pair of shoes for me. I can't find those either because, of course, I just moved, so I can't find those. Um, okay, I was, like, going to get a drink of this, and this is actually a favorite, so let's just sippy sippy. <laughs> so great, your girl. But I love it. I get addicted. Whatever. People say, like, literally in though all the time from watching my videos. I just say sippy sippy because I watch hers. funny thing anyways um that's like so dirty that's so gross okay um without a doubt hands down my favorite 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 fucking drink ever i love this drink so much it is the vanilla highball energy sparkling energy water i've seen the highballs twice i've seen kale have a highball and i've seen my sister-in-law have a highball and I'm like what are highballs and they're like it's like sparkling energy water zero calories zero sugar unsweet and i was like cool cool 
and I've had some other flavors before, but I ended up ordering a variety pack on Amazon, and holy cow, the vanilla was just the biggest hit of anyone. Like, I loved it, and so I was, like, telling my sister and mom about it, so then they drank all my vanillas, and then, like, people would come over and, like, grab two towards the vanillas. I was like, no, vanillas are mine. So now I just order all vanilla cases because everyone loved some, um, some vanilla. That was, uh, <laughs> Jesus. Hi, Jesus. Shout out to you. Um... That was, and so I just ordered a whole case of vanilla, and it's like so good, oh my god, and Shane even liked it, and that's like the ultimate taste of approval, because like he doesn't like anything, so if he likes this, you know, it's good, and um, it's just like, it kind of like tastes a little bit like cream soda, he said it tastes like Pellegrino, but it's like, it's definitely more cream soda even than but it's like a mix of the two, so I think it tastes like cream soda, he thinks it tastes like Pellegrino, it's like cream soda Pellegrino, and it's really, really good. And just like sweeter than Pellegrino, I, I know for a fact it's like sweeter, because I'm like a Pellegrino aficionado. Um, okay. Candles. I've been so bad, obsessed with candles again. Kind of in part thanks to Shane. Who knew Shane? You go to Shane's house. It smells like a bakery. It smells like birthday cakes, Christmas cakes. Just it's Cinnabon. Like it just it smells so good. I love going into Shane's place. It smells so good. So um, when he goes went to Target one time, he like picked up a bunch of candles and I was like, like oh, I don't really want Target candles. Like not bougie. Oh my god! And he lit them that night. And I was like, yes. Um, I have a red velvet cupcake one, which I love, but the one I've been burning, like, literally right by my bed, so I literally inhaling it at night and in the morning, this is so strong, too, is the pumpkin cheesecake, and I feel like some people could definitely be nauseated by this, because it is strong AF, like, it is <laughs> the strongest candle, and it, like, actually smells like pumpkin cheesecake, it is so delicious, scented soy candle, 367 pumpkin cheesecake, you get them at Target, it is just so, so good. It just smells like pumpkin cheesecake. It smells like those cream cheese pumpkin muffins you get from Starbucks. There's, oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my god. Oh, I love it so much. I feel like it definitely like when it's not fall anymore, you're going to be over the pumpkin and the cheesecake. But for now, I love it. And I've been burning it. And the final favorite, by the way, guys, I'm getting like a, like a duvet and a duvet cover. This bed looks so like naked. It's like so like not bougie. <laughs> But, or ashy, I'm trying to make ashy happen, and I love gold, I'm trying to help me make that happen, okay, okay. <laughs> but the final thing is my purse, I have, okay, this looks like, everyone's like, why do you love this purse so much? It looks like just a basic black purse, and that's kind of what I love, it's an All Saints purse. Um, I don't know why I love it, it's like lightweight, you can get a lot in it, but you don't need a lot in it, and it has like this like magnetic closure, it's just a very easy, you can just throw a bunch of stuff in. I feel like I never have like simple simple bags and this is like as simple as you can get I think it's kind of chic my hair not my hairstylist but like the girl who does my color which I kind of need done um had this bag and it just was very like chic it just looked like she should be in like New York like going to Devil Wears Prada and a winter hello like I don't know it just was like I don't know I've been into black like black leather jackets black leggings black leather boots so I feel like this kind of just went into that theme and I just really liked this but it's like kind of basic. Now that I'm like showing you, it's like kind of basic and it's maybe not worth the price. It's not like super expensive, but I love the size of the shoulder strap, the thickness of it. I just kind of liked it all. And I don't know if I'm like really obsessed with this bag. And people are like, why? Like I told my sister and my mom, they're like, why? I'm like, I don't know. I mean, I guess it's like not that exceptionally cute for like especially things that I normally get, but like I love it. So, you know, that's all that matters if you love it, right? Right. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that is it for my October favorites. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm really glad. I'm proud of myself that I did this. I just was thinking, like, I don't have any favorites. And then, like, I go into, like, my makeup room and I see, like, what I've used. I'm like, I've used stuff. I need to, like, do it more. But I don't know. I mean, I do favorites. I love favorites. They're my favorite videos to watch. So I really, really try and make an effort to, like, get a favorites out, um, you know, out, like, every month. I feel like I haven't missed. Have I? I feel like I haven't missed. But, um, by the way, let me just show you my full dress because I usually just have, like, sweatpants. But, like, how cute is this, like, Maryland dress? This is from Etsy. Like, I had this custom made, but the zipper in the back is, like, stuck. It's not because it doesn't fit because it's, like, it's it's hooked, but it's, like, stuck. Oh, it's, like, so annoying. So I'm going to have the guy who's done my Halloween costume, like, try and fix it because I love this dress. It's, like, so flattering and it's so, like, Maryland-esque. <sighs> it's just not zipping all the way, which is so frustrating. So now i got to go find another dress for tonight, which i got to do. But. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, oh, oh my god, I almost broke my phone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely check out Viral Video if you guys haven't already. It would mean the world to me. Um, that was definitely a passion project, and I just, I loved it. And oh, by the way, there are music videos coming this month. There's two music videos being released. 
So if you guys go watch like viral video and my music videos, it all definitely helps me create more. I'm going to be doing Christmas songs, and you know, if my music videos do well, which they normally do, then I can always like reinvest and do Christmas videos. So um, I really appreciate you guys just like being here, sticking with me, supporting me, because I've had such a fun year with the music and short films and all this stuff. It's been literally a dream come true, and it's because of you guys. So I really appreciate that and you. As always, I want to say hi to Rick Moranis, and until next time, here are my kissies from my little baby fishies. Mwah! <laughs> Bye, guys.